Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today to hear all about our National Parks by Rail series as we kick it off today with Glacier, Yellowstone, and Yosemite. I want to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Jackie Malaki. I will be your webinar presenter today, and I'm actually the product manager for North America here at Amtrak Vacation. So really excited to talk to you about these three amazing national parks today. So what will we be covering in today's presentation? We're going to talk about visiting Glacier, Yellowstone, and Yosemite by rail and some of the packages that we have taking you there and some different tours, sightseeing that you can do in the different national parks. I have an exclusive offer for all of you that I'll be talking about. I'm going to go through our multi-park vacation packages so you don't have to pick just one national park to visit. You can do two or maybe even three, and I'll show you how you can do that. I'll talk about the private sleeping accommodations, as in a lot of these cases, depending where you're traveling from, which package you choose, overnights on board Amtrak may be involved, so you will be sleeping on the train, and I'll talk about all the different accommodations and choices that you have while on board. And I'll also address what Amtrak is doing right now to provide a safe environment in the days of COVID-19 and with everything that's going on because I know a lot of you had questions as far as what's different, how is that working, is it running, so I'll be addressing all of that. Now, for those of you who have not been on our presentations in the past, I just want to let you know a little bit about who we are here at Amtrak Vacations. We are a part of the Yankee Leisure Group family of brands, so we operate a couple different ones. We have Amtrak Vacations, so we are the official tour operator for Amtrak. We manage all of their rail vacations, so we do not just the train, but also your hotel accommodations, your lodging, the sightseeing and activities in the different places that you're visiting. We operate Yankee Holidays, which is great if you're looking to fly or drive to your destination. We can still put together the land package for you, so that's all your hotels, sightseeing, all that. And our third brand is Rail Bookers. That is our worldwide rail vacations brand. So whether you're looking to travel to Europe, Asia, Australia, anywhere in the world, once all the borders open again, if the train goes there, so do we. And we can put together those independent packages for you with that brand. So with that, kind of want to get right to it. Today we're really going to focus on Amtrak vacations and I'll talk about again specifically those three national parks that we have there. Before I get into all that, I do want to show this map. I always love sharing this with people and it's actually a handout that you have. So in your GoTo webinar panel, you'll see one of them says Amtrak Vacation System Map. Definitely click on that and it's going to have this right here. So this is showing all the destinations that we have to offer throughout the US and Canada. And it's also showing you the different colors are all different Amtrak routes to show you the different places that you can travel to and kind of how you can connect multiple cities together there. So when you're traveling to the US national parks, you can go ahead, you can step right off the train and explore the parks there. So it's very nice. It's perfect for social distancing and everything right now. But even kind of for next year, if you're looking to plan ahead, the national parks are the perfect places to visit. The first one I want to talk about is Glacier National Park, and it's one of my personal favorites to visit. Glacier National Park, it's located in northwest Montana and kind of northern Montana there. It's deep valleys, ancient forests, and alpine scenery are all what part of what makes Montana's Glacier National Park so incredible. It's home to over 130 pristine named lakes, five National Historic Landmarks. There's over a million acres throughout it. There's two mountain ranges that travel through there over a thousand different species of plants, hundreds of species of animals. And Glacier National Park is a true explorer's paradise. The park itself is seasonal, so it's open from about early June to kind of mid to late September. So for most of these packages I'm going to be talking about, 
with Glacier National Park. These are perfect if you're looking to plan ahead for kind of next spring, next summer, for 2021. Here are some great options. There's no easier way to get to Glacier than by train. And the reason why I say that is because where the East Glacier train station is, the train, Amtrak train will pull up, you're gonna step off, and it's just 108 steps to the front lobby of the Glacier Park Lodge where you'll be staying. So it will literally bring you right there. You can hop off the train, walk right to your hotel. So convenient. And where Glacier is, again, it's in Northern Montana, so it's a remote area. There's no major airports that are servicing it, so it can be tricky flying in. And it's a long drive for people to get to from any of the major cities. So with Amtrak, you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenic train ride there, bringing you right to the park. Now, when you travel to Glacier with us, we take care of all of your sightseeing, including taking you on the famous Red Jammer buses, which you can see pictured here. Those actually have open tops there, so you can get all that fresh air in, and those are the vehicles that they use to take you around Glacier National Park to do your sightseeing. You're gonna travel along the famous Going to the Sun Road. You can see a few pictures of it right here. That travels right along the mountains and cliffs, so you're right at the edge there. So absolutely spectacular. And then after exploring Glacier, you certainly have time to relax, feel, you know, relax back at the lodge that you're at. You can cap off the day with a hike there, maybe take a leisurely swim, or just sit back, relax on the balcony of your room. Now, in staying in Glacier National Park, we have you staying at the historic Glacier Park Lodge. That's located in the southeastern corner of Glacier National Park. You can see it on the map here in that southeast corner. The lodge itself was built back in 1913, and it was the first hotel built by the Great Northern Railway. It's actually been the first stop on visitors' glacier vacations for decades. It's a beautiful lodge and property. When you go inside this historic hotel, you'll notice the Douglas fir logs that tower over the lobby. They have a beautiful fireplace. They have a fire crackling in there and that stone fireplace there. You can enjoy a nice meal in the dining room or after your day of exploring, you can sit back, relax for the evening and have a drink at the Empire Bar. Now, one of the most popular trips that we have in packages to Glacier is this one right here. It's our Glacier National Park Express. It's a 10 day trip on board Amtrak from Chicago to Glacier National Park and then to Seattle. This is one you won't want to miss. Your tour kicks off with a few nights in Chicago where you have time to explore this diverse city. The next up is Glacier National Park. So you can see where it's a breathtaking beauty, fresh mountain air while touring through the most stunning peaks and valleys. And then it's on to Seattle, also referred to as the Emerald City. Now, whenever you see the red arrow with the one in it, you can see between Chicago Glacier, Glacier over to Seattle, that means it's an overnight on the train. So in those cases, you are sleeping on board the train. And a little bit later, I'll show you the different sleeping accommodations and options that you have. So you can actually get your own bed on the train. So your first stop will be Chicago. Now you can actually take the train right from your hometown to bring you to Chicago in order to start this package. So even if you're not living in that area, we can connect you. We'll add that train right on. You do have the option to fly as well. We've seen a whole combination. Sometimes people will try in, then train in and fly home from Seattle or vice versa. So completely up to you and what works best, but keep that in mind for all the packages that I'll be talking about today. When you're in Chicago, we do include a sightseeing arch architecture cruise of Chicago through the Chicago River, and there you're going to learn about the Great Fire of 1871 and how they had to rebuild the whole city. You also have free time to explore. You can take a stroll along the Riverwalk, that actually goes all the way down to Navy Pier. 
you can also visit Magnificent Mile, also known as Michigan Avenue, which is famous for all of the shopping and high-end stores that it has along there. Then from Chicago, you're going to hop on board Amtrak's Empire Builder Route. You'll be able to experience the rugged splendor of the American West here. It travels daily between Chicago and the Pacific Northwest along major portions of the Lewis and Clark Trail. And the mighty Empire Builder Route will take you on an exciting adventure through majestic wilderness. You'll follow the footsteps of the early pioneers from Chicago. As you depart there, you're actually going to head west. You have magnificent views of the Mississippi River, and then you'll see the glowing night skyline of Minneapolis and St. Paul. You'll have the overnight, so you'll sleep on the train, then the next morning, that's when you wake up as you're crossing the North Dakota Plains. You'll travel over the spectacular Gasman Coulee Trestle, and then you'll cross into Big Sky Country in Montana, stopping at Glacier National Park. Upon arrival in Glacier, you can walk right over to the Glacier Park Lodge and you're going to settle in there for a three-night stay. Then the next day, you're going to have a Two Medicine Valley boat cruise throughout Glacier National Park. So it's actually a narrated cruise on Two Medicine Lake. So we'll pick you up right from your hotel We'll bring you into the park, into the lake where you can enjoy that, and then we will bring you back to the lodge at the end. And then you have the rest of the afternoon to go on a hike. They do have a pool at the property you can relax in there. Or again, you can just sit back on your balcony, just enjoy the beautiful landscapes, the surrounding mountains all around you. Then the next day, that's when we're going to take you on the Big Sky Circle Tour of Glacier National Park. That's the most inclusive tour of the park. So it's a full day and it does a full loop through Glacier. So you travel along the famous Going to the Sun Road that actually cuts right through all of Glacier National Park. So it'll bring you to the various lakes along the way, including Lake McDonald, which is the largest lake in the park. Along that journey, you'll also travel through Logan Pass. You'll make a stop there so you can get out. You can see where the Continental Divide is, beautiful mountainous scenery from there. You'll stop at Goat Lick for wildlife viewing. So on this tour, there are multiple stops all along the way. And then after exploring Glacier, you're going to hop back on the Empire Builder route. And you're going to take that all the way through the Cascades to Seattle. There, you're going to enjoy a guided tour of Seattle, taking you to Lake Union, where the houseboats are. You'll go out to the waterfront. You can visit Pike Place Market, which is their public market center. You'll go up to the Space Needle and more. You'll have free time while you're there, too, to go back, explore a little bit more in depth some of these different areas at your leisure. So you can go back to the Space Needle, and we actually include admission for you to go up to the top of it. And that's where you're going to have the most amazing views from up there, because you can not only see all of downtown Seattle, but you can also look out to see Elliott Bay, the islands off to the west at a distance, and on a clear day, you can actually see Mount Rainier. And that is our Glacier National Park Express package. It's a 10-day journey. Again, starts in Chicago, over to Glacier National Park, and then ending in Seattle. Now, just a reminder, this package here, it is seasonal, so it's available from about mid-June to mid-September. So this is the perfect one if you're looking to travel next year, 2021, planning ahead. Definitely want to get in now and book that trip while the space is available there. So we also have some great savings that you can take advantage of right now. So we have a limited time offer for $300 off per couple. Now, the price that you're seeing there, the $26.49, that is the pricing per person based on double occupancy. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit shorter, maybe you just want to visit Glacier National Park, you're not looking to do Chicago and Seattle, you've been there already, or maybe you're 
living in the Seattle Pacific Northwest area, so you just want to head out and do Glacier, here is the perfect package for you. It's our Glacier National Park getaway, and we can add the rail from any of the 500 Amtrak stations to bring you right to Glacier National Park. When you do this one, you'll spend three nights right at the park there, and we still include all of the sightseeing for you. So we take, we're not taking anything away from the glacier experience. So you do get the Big Sky Circle Tour on the Red Jammer buses. That's included for you. We take you out to do the boat cruise on Two Medicine uh, Lake that's there. We even include dinner for you one of the evenings in the Great Northern Dining Room, which is at the Glacier Park Lodge. So full three course meal, delicious food that you'll have there. Now, all of our real vacations that we have are customizable. So again, we can do these round trip right from your hometown. So let's say, for example, the Glacier National Park getaway I just mentioned, if you're living in the San Francisco area, maybe as you're doing that, we're adding the train round trip. You actually do want to stop in Seattle for a night or two because you've never been. Then no worries at all. We can certainly add that right on for you. We can also add, you know, the extra destinations, extra nights there. We can upgrade you to the private sleeping accommodations on the train. If you're wondering what hotels we use in the different cities or places that you're going to, you know, it's a wide variety. We have three, four, five-star properties. So we work with all the major chains, you know, Marriott, Hilton, Holiday Inns. We also work with a lot of boutique properties and the National Park Lodges if you're looking for something a little bit more remote. So Again, something to fit into everyone's price, pain, price point, budget, and what they're looking for there. We can also add additional sightseeing tours, transfers. So if you do choose to fly into Chicago, you want to transfer from the airport to your hotel, no problem. We can do that for you. So we do have lots of flexibility with our packages. We can tweak anything because we always want to make sure this is the perfect package specific to your needs and what you're looking for for your bucket list vacation. Now another popular park that I want to talk about today is Yellowstone. Located in northwest Wyoming, Yellowstone is America's oldest and largest national park. It's a natural wonder of geysers, hot springs, waterfalls, lakes, canyons, and unspoiled forests. It's a perfect getaway. Yellowstone is home to more than 300 geysers, including Old Faithful, which is the most famous of them all. There's also hundreds of species of wild birds, exotic plants. Wildlife is commonly spotted roaming freely in the park. The bison certainly among the most popular. Now, Yellowstone National Park is actually open year round. So we do offer winter tours as well through there that are done on snow coaches. So there's special tour vehicles that go through the park there. It's magical to see it in the winter as a winter wonderland with all the frozen waterfalls. So any time of year you're looking to visit Yellowstone, we can help you out with that and take care of that for you. So if you're looking to go in the fall, we have some great options for you. Or if you're looking to go later on in the winter, again, we can also do that for you. One of the ones I want to talk about, this one right here, it's our Grand Tetons and Yellowstone Rail Journey. This package, it runs from May to October. Again, we do have some winter variations if you're looking to go a little bit later. But this is perfect if you want a last minute fall trip, you're ready to get out, start traveling, or if you want to plan ahead for next summer. With this package here, you can actually explore two of America's grandest national parks on this fabulous rail vacation. You'll travel through the wide open landscapes of the heartland of America by rail before reaching Salt Lake City. And then from there, you're gonna continue on to Jackson Hole, which is your gateway for exploring Grand Teton National Park and all of its spectacular wildlife there. And then from Jackson Hole, you'll continue the journey north to Yellowstone National Park, where you can take in the amazing scenery that has made this destination a must-see for decades. 
Now, as you depart from Chicago, you're going to travel on board the California Zephyr. Experienced travelers say that the California Zephyr is one of the most beautiful train trips in all of North America because you're going to course through the plains of Nebraska, then you're going to travel into Denver. That's where you really start to climb through the heart of the Rocky Mountains winding through them, cutting through tunnels as you make your way to Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is nestled at the foot of the Wasatch Mountains. It's Utah's friendly capital city. When you arrive there, you're actually going to arrive in the evening. So you can settle into your hotel for the night. And then the next day, we'll pick you up in your included car rental so you can go ahead you can grab that car rental and then you're going to start the drive at your leisure making your way north to the national parks now first up is grand teton national park grand teton national park is located in northwest wyoming and it encompasses the entire teton mountain range including 310,000 acres of spectacular pristine wilderness the park offers something special to visitors every season. You have stunning hues of the changing landscapes in the fall. There's amazing views of grazing wildlife in the spring. There's river rafting and hiking in the warmer summer months. Included for you in this package here is a guided tour that will pick you up from your hotel in Jackson Hole and bring you into Grand Tetons National Park. And they'll take you to the most scenic overlooks. You'll go to the best stops for mountain photo opportunities and search for some of the grazing wildlife there. And then later on that afternoon, they'll bring you back to your hotel there. And then in the evening, you can continue your journey and your drive to Yellowstone National Park. There, you're going to spend two nights staying inside the heart of Yellowstone National Park, surrounded by all of its beauty. So you can choose to stay at either Canyon Lodge or the Lake Yellowstone Hotel, which is actually situated right on the shores of beautiful Lake Yellowstone. You do have a guided tour there, so that's going to take you to the best spots in Yellowstone including the colorful Grand Prismatic Spring. And you'll also learn about the history of Yellowstone and everything that really makes it a geological treasure. And then after exploring Yellowstone, you'll take your car back down to Salt Lake City for an evening. And then from there, we can add the train for you back home if you would like. We've had some that fly home from there. So that's where you have the flexibility. But that there is our Grand Tetons and Yellowstone Rail Journey. Seven day adventure, two amazing national parks to explore. Now we do have some options if you're looking at just visiting Yellowstone. We have our Yellowstone National Park Discovery. With this one here, we'll add the rail right from your hometown to Salt Lake City. So you can spend some time exploring there. And then in this one, we're actually gonna transfer you to your hotel in Yellowstone. So if you don't want to do the driving, no problem. We can bring you from Salt Lake City right to your hotel. We'll include three nights for you, and we have two full day sightseeing tours, so you can visit all of Yellowstone and everything that it has to offer. So when you think of Yellowstone, think of the park having a big figure eight that's going through it. So essentially you have an upper loop and a lower loop. With this package here, you can tour both of those loops, each on a full day excursion. So you'll be able to tour the lower loop and the upper loop that's there through the park. So you really do get to see all the amazing things that the park has to offer and spend even more time focusing on Yellowstone itself and exploring the national park. One thing I do want to talk about real quick before I get into our third national park we're going to feature today is our maximum flexibility offer. We recognize right now there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of questions going on as far as when is the best time to travel again. I know you all are 
calling in today and on this presentation from all over the US, all in different stages of recovery from COVID-19. So with this maximum flexibility offer, we want to give you peace of mind. And essentially what this does is it allows you to book your vacation today. This is actually good through the end of December, but essentially you can book your trip today and you have the ability to change your travel dates or cancel your trip up to five days prior to your departure without incurring any change or cancellation fees. So this way, if you are interested in visiting the Grand Tetons in Yellowstone and you're thinking of doing it at, say, end of October, you want to do it in the fall there, no problem. You can go ahead, book with us today. We can book that trip for you in October. And if the week before you decide, you know what, I'm just not ready for this, don't feel comfortable going, I'd rather push it off to next year, no worries, no questions asked we'll rebook it for you for the following year. Or if you want to change and you want to do a winter version, you know, later on in December, January, give it a little bit more time, same thing. We can also adjust the package for you. So lots of flexibility. And if you already have a reservation with us, this policy does apply to you too. So if you were thinking about traveling in November, December, around the holidays, you don't have to make a decision right now whether you're going to go or not. Wait till you get a little bit closer because things are changing rapidly and then you can make the decision. It's not going to change anything because, again, you're not going to occur any change or cancellation fees, whether you change it five days prior or 60 days prior to your trip. So we want to work with you and make sure you have a lot of flexibility so you can travel when you feel comfortable and kind of give you a little peace of mind when you book with us that you have these different options. Now, the third park I want to talk about today is Yosemite National Park. It's been designated a World Heritage Site. California's Yosemite National Park is famous for its ancient giant sequoias, its granite cliffs, including Half Dome in El Capitan, which is very famous, especially in the rock climbing community. It also has lots of tumbling waterfalls all throughout it. Yosemite is located in California's Sierra Nevada mountains. There's lots of wildlife found all around the park, all different species, including black bears, mule deer, coyotes, golden eagle, and even more. Now, one of the packages I want to talk about is our Yellowstone to Yosemite by rail. So with this one here, you can actually connect multiple national parks. So you can take a leisurely ride from Chicago to the Pacific Coast on the scenic rail journey that allows you to explore two famous national parks, Yellowstone and Yosemite. So you can discover Chicago before taking the train to Salt Lake City, and then you'll take the drive or the transfer up to Yellowstone National Park, and then you'll continue west to San Francisco. And we have a tour that will take you to Yosemite, so you can spend an entire day soaking up the nature, scoping out the towering redwoods of Yosemite National Park. This rail journey here promises stunning landscapes that you will never forget. First up on your journey is Chicago. There, we include a hop-on, hop-off sightseeing tour to take you all around the city. It's a guided tour. It's narrated, so you're learning about all the different areas that you're passing through. It has multiple stops along the way, but you don't have to get on and off at all of them. You can pick which ones interest you. So you can hop off at Millennium Park, or maybe you want to go to Grant Park, walk around there, see the famous Buckingham Fountain, which is actually one of the largest fountains. But then from there, maybe you want to continue on to Navy Pier at the theater district. There's so much to do and see. And this hop on hop off tour allows you to explore Chicago at your own pace. From Chicago, you're going to board the California Zephyr and you're going to take that out to Salt Lake City. When you're in Salt Lake City, you'll arrive in the evening there. Check into your hotel, relax before making the journey up to Yellowstone National Park. In Yellowstone, you have a sightseeing tour that will take you all around. So this way you can get up and close with famous sites like Old Faithful. You can visit the hot springs. You'll see the Continental Divide and see the wildlife roaming around. 
And then after exploring there, your transfer will take you back down to Salt Lake City. And then in the evening, you'll board Amtrak, making your way to San Francisco. In San Francisco, you have free time to explore the city, so you can stroll through Fisherman's Wharf, venture to the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. We actually take you on a day trip down to Yosemite. It's a full day trip, so you'll depart the city early in the morning. You actually cross over the Golden Gate Bridge. Then you're going to travel through California's agricultural heartland as you make your way to Yosemite. It is a guided tour, so you have a guided tour through Yosemite there. So They'll be pointing out all the different waterfalls, the different areas. They talk about the history of Yosemite there. And you do have free time in the park too. So you can actually do a hike to the Yosemite Falls. You can go up to the lower falls there. The tour will also take you to Tunnel View for one of the best photo spots in Yosemite. As it overlooks all of Yosemite Valley, you can see the waterfalls, the Glanic granite cliffs, the forests and the trees, absolutely spectacular there. And again, you do have the free time, so you can do the hiking, but you can also do a picnic lunch. That tour does make a stop along the way, so you can pick up food for that and everything. So absolutely spectacular tour. You'll be able to see all of the best of Yosemite National Park before heading back to San Francisco for another evening there. And that is our Yellowstone to Yosemite by rail package. So two nights in Chicago, an overnight on the train. You'll spend a night in Salt Lake City before being transferred up to Yellowstone National Park. Two days, lots of time for sightseeing. Head back down to Salt Lake City. And then an overnight on the train heading out to San Francisco. Two nights there. And then a trip out to Yosemite National Park. Now, if you love all the parks that I just talked about and you want to see them all and do all of the sightseeing that I've mentioned, here's the one for you. You can prepare for a journey to three of the nation's greatest national parks. You can experience the best of the American West as you travel across the Great Plains and through the Rocky Mountains aboard Amtrak. You can stop to explore all the sights and wonders of timeless Yellowstone National Park. Yosemite also awaits you where your tour takes in all the natural glory to be found in this astounding national park. And then Glacier National Park is endless natural beauty with thousands and thousands of acres of pristine wilderness, soaring mountain peaks, and an abundance of wildlife. This is definitely a vacation you will never forget. So with this one here, you're going to start out in Chicago. Then you're going to board the California Zephyr. You'll take that scenic train route through the magnificent Rocky Mountains as you make your way closer to Salt Lake City. That's where you're going to hop off the train there. And then you're going to make your way up to Yellowstone National Park. You have two nights there where you can do all of the sightseeing and exploring. Then you'll continue west on the California Zephyr from Salt Lake City over to San Francisco. Two nights there, you can explore Fisherman's Wharf, maybe take a ride on one of the historic cable cars. You'll have your day trip taking you out to Yosemite National Park. Then from San Francisco, you're going to board Amtrak's Coast Starlight train and take that up to Seattle. Now, we've already covered the Empire Builder and California Zephyr train route, so let's talk about the route that connects these and will take you from Yosemite up to Glacier National Park through San Francisco and Seattle. The Coast Starlight travels through the big cities. It has nearly 350 miles of California coastline along the journey, so it's no wonder that it's considered to be one of the best and most scenic trips in North America. The scenery along the Coast Starlight route is absolutely amazing. You have the dramatic snow covered peaks of the Cascade Range in Mount Shasta. You'll travel through the lush forests and fertile valleys. All these provide a stunning backdrop for you on your journey. 
that's the route that will bring you up to Seattle. So you have a night there, but lots of time to explore the city. Definitely check out Pike Place Market, which is their public market center and their farmer's market there. Lots of fresh food that you can grab and also a lot of local goods are crafted and sold from there. After exploring Seattle, you're gonna continue on the Empire Builder, make your way to Glacier National Park, three nights there you have your boat cruise included the big sky circle tour which is the one that takes you all throughout glacier national park then you'll continue on the train doing the overnight on the empire builder making your way back to chicago and that is our grand national parks with yellowstone yosemite and glacier national park so three amazing national parks packed with inclusions it's certainly one epic bucket list vacation. Now you can see in this one here, it's a round trip from Chicago. We don't include the overnights there, but depending where you're traveling from, we can certainly add an overnight in Chicago if you would like to explore the city. Maybe you're coming from the East Coast, you haven't been there before, no worries. I know the other question we get asked a lot is, well, I live in the West Coast area, so I would like to do this package, but doesn't make sense for me to start in Chicago no worries at all we can actually do this round trip from any of the starting points so if you're in the southern california area no worries we'll actually start it from there you'll do san francisco and yosemite first then up to seattle glacier kind of circle around that way so that's the beauty of booking with us we can rearrange any of these packages to make the perfect one for you and we do have some great savings here where you can actually save five hundred dollars per couple there so that is only good for a limited time now before i get into the offers that we have and talk about the accommodations on board the train i actually have a question that i want to ask all of you and that question is which national park sparked your interest for your next vacation so you can actually just select any of these right on your screen there would love to hear from you out of the three that i talked about today which one interests you the most in visiting or maybe it is doing the grand national parks here and visiting all of the parks so i see people are still voting so i'll leave it up here for another a minute there as everyone's voting. So far, it looks like Glacier National Park is in the lead though. All right, so I think, let's see, a couple more of you are voting and got it. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna close this poll and then I'll actually share the results so you can all take a look at it here. So Glacier National Park certainly takes the lead, which no surprise is one of our most popular destinations that we have and one of the most requested. 45% looking at Glacier. We have 14% for Yellowstone, 10% Yosemite, and then 31% of you are actually looking to visit all three amazing national parks. And again, we do have the great savings with all of that. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna talk about some of our other limited time offers that we have, because it's on multiple packages. And there's even some here. I wanted to share all the ones that we have, even if it was on some destinations that I didn't talk about today. But keep in mind, we have over 60 destinations. I only talked about three really today and focused on three of the major national parks, but there's so much more that we have to offer. So you can definitely check it all out at amtrackvacations.com. Uh, you can click on our destinations tab and see all of them. That's also where you can check out the limited time offers and the different destinations and packages that these apply to. So now I wanna focus a little bit on the train portion of the trip and talk about Amtrak, what it's like on the train, but also to address everything that they're doing right now in the days of COVID-19 and some new policies they've put in place. So they've certainly enhanced the cleaning, both at the train stations and on board the trains. So they're constantly wiping down the bathrooms, all the seats, especially as people disembark the train. That's getting a full wipe down and sanitation. Face coverings are required on board the trains. They're also required in the stations too. 
One of the beauties of doing a private sleeping cabin is actually if you're in there and the door's closed, you can take that face covering off there. But if you're in coach accommodations, you're just sitting in your seat, you're walking about the train, you do have to wear that face covering. Of course, you can take it off to have a drink, eat, anything like that. They are limiting the amount of people that are able to go on the trains and make reservations. They're capping it at about 50% capacity. This way people really can distance on board. So you don't have to sit next to someone that you don't know. You won't have them directly in front of you or behind you. Everyone can really space out and maintain that safe social distance. They're constantly filtering the air. So every about four to five minutes, it's fresh air that's completely cycled through the trains there. There's contact-free travel. When we send you all of your documents and your vouchers, we actually give you the e-ticket, so you can download it if you have a smartphone, right on your phone there, and then you can just hold it up, show it to the train conductor, and as they walk by, they can just scan it, so you don't have to pass an actual ticket back and forth, anything like that. And there's private rooms on many of the routes, especially all of the long-distance routes. You can book that. It doesn't have to be for an overnight, even if you're just traveling on the train you know, for a day, but you want your own room. If that's available, we can certainly do that for you. Again, this way you can distance from others. So I want to now talk about the different accommodations on the train. Uh, I do want to address one question we get asked a lot, and that's how much luggage are we allowed to bring on board? So you can bring two free carry-on bags, and then you can check two bags. That is free of charge. I always tell people, check the larger bags that you have at the stations. This way you don't have to worry about it while you're on board the train. Just bring a small carry-on or a backpack with you. And then when you get to your final destination, you can pick up that checked bag there. For the different accommodations, there's coach accommodations. That's the lead-in. That's one that comes standard in all of our packages that we have there. It's not like coach on the airlines at all. You have a lot more space. So it's just two and two. The seats recline back at a 45 degree angle. There's a leg rest that comes up. So it is very comfortable. You do have access to the dining car and the lounge car there so that's where you can purchase your food snacks drinks anything like that you can also bring your own food and snacks on the train if you're doing an overnight on the train there's some great perks to upgrading to the private sleeping accommodations there and we actually do have a special offer and that's if you upgrade to a sleeping accommodation on the train we'll actually give you a hundred dollars off per booking and that code is upgrade 100. So I'll let you all write that down real quick. So it's upgrade 100, and that applies for either of the sleeping accommodations. There's two different types, and I'll show you that in just a second. Some of the other great perks is that you actually get priority boarding onto the train. So you board separately from coach passengers and everyone else. You do have your private room, so you have your privacy door. So that's the one you can go in, you can close that door, and you can take off your mask. You don't have to wear it the whole time you're on the train if that door is closed. You do have a dedicated car attendant. You get included toiletries because there's a shower that's on board the train, so they provide the towels for you, bath products. They also provide all of the linens for you, and they'll make up your beds. There's bottled water car attendant will make coffee for you in the morning. There's two different types of sleepers. So the next upgrade from coach would be the Romette accommodation. It's two seats during the day that face each other there. And then at night, those seats both fold down to be the lower bunk and there's an upper bunk that gets pulled down there. So very comfortable. Again, you get your own bed at night. At the end of the train car, that's where you're going to find the bathroom and shower that's available. The other upgrade is the bedroom. The bedroom accommodation, it's a little bit larger, so there's some more space in the room itself. The biggest difference is it has its own private bathroom and shower right in that room there. So here you can see it at night, again, a little bit more space to walk around. You do have your own bathroom shower right in there. That's probably one of the biggest perks, especially right now with COVID-19. We've seen a lot more people upgrading to the bedrooms over the romettes, but it's definitely still, still a mix there. So both absolutely spectacular. Even if you're doing the romette, it's only people in your specific train car 
that you are sharing that bathroom and chair so it's not many people and your train car attendant is constantly cleaning that too. If anyone is a handicap, there is a handicap accessible bedroom. So just let us know and we can book this specific one for you and we can set up the lift to get you onto the train and then you can head right into the private bedroom here. This is bunk beds as well. So you can have the lower bunk and then your travel companion can be on the upper bunk. One of the best perks though for the sleeping accommodation is you have all of your meals included while you're on board the train. So you can actually get those delivered right to your private sleeper. Your train car attendant will come by. They have a menu with quite a variety of things to choose from. And you can let them know what you would like and what time you would like that meal delivered and they will bring it right to your room. Now, we do have some everyday discounts, so I do want to share these two. If you're looking to bring the kids along, we do have a discount for children. So kids ages 2 to 12 get a 50% discount on the rail portion of their trip. Seniors, anyone 65 or older, gets a 10% discount. And then active military and their families also receive a 10% discount. Now, if you did enjoy today's presentation, I want to invite you to some of the upcoming webinars that we have. We're going to continue our National Parks by Rail series next week, talking about Grand Canyon, Bryce, Zion, and beyond. The next week, we're also going to be talking about the top rail vacations for 2021, Canadian Rockies and beyond with Rail Booker. So that's one of our sister brands. And then the following week, we're going to talk about five important things to know about Amtrak sleeping accommodations and talking about the overnight journeys and going into more detail about that experience on board the train. So I do have one question I want to ask all of you. Now, I know out of the three we talked about today, you all went ahead and voted which one sparked your interest the most. But would also love to hear in general, you know, what destinations you are interested in traveling to and when. So if you were looking to do multiple ones or grand national parks, you can actually just put it right in your questions chat that you have. You want to put that in and when you're looking to travel would love to hear from you all and maybe it's a combination of other ones maybe you're looking at glacier but you also want to visit chicago in seattle so again you can just type that right into your questions box there and at this time i will open it up to while you're all typing those in if you do have any questions i do see a handful that came in during the presentation so i will try to get to all those. If you do have any additional ones, please feel free to put those in. We have a little bit of time left, so I'll try to get to as many as we can. So it looks like even in combinations, Glacier is still the most popular. We have Grant and Katie that are looking at Glacier and Seattle. So we can certainly do both of those. I didn't talk about it today, but we actually do have a package that's specifically those two, not doing the Chicago piece of it. So we can do that. Looks like we have a few for Glacier uh, fall 2021. We have some looking at June. We have Bill who's looking at Yosemite and wondering if you can stay several days at Yosemite National Park and that you certainly can. So today I just talked about kind of doing the day trip from San Francisco out there but if you want to spend more time in Yosemite there's so much to do so many trails all throughout there. We do have other packages we can do our Yosemite getaway where you can really focus on Yosemite. You'll spend two nights heading there staying at the park We'll take you on a sightseeing tour throughout it. We can even add the car rental for you too, depending where you're coming from. So if you do want to go back into the park, do a little more driving at your leisure, we can certainly take care of that for you. So lots of different options. So it looks like we have Kitty who's looking at Canadian Rockies, Glacier, and Yellowstone. So that's a great one. We do have some Glacier Canadian Rockies combinations and we can certainly add Yellowstone into that too. So I won't go through everyone's uh, where everyone's looking to travel because I really do want to get to some of these questions. I know a lot of you have some great ones coming through. So let's see here. We have uh, 
couple questions from Frank. So let me get to these ones here. Uh, first one is, I hear Glacier National Park bus tours are suspended for 2020. How does that affect your big sky circle tour? So right now, we're pretty much at the end of the season for visiting Glacier Park right now. Uh, so those, you are correct, those are not running now. So that's why the packages that I was talking about are perfect for next year and for traveling. The big sky circle tour is available uh, for next year to book, to go all around the park, things like that. Glacier Park Lodge is will be open and everything will be happening there. We're kind of at the very tail end of the season. If you are looking to do a last minute trip this year to visit Glacier National Park, definitely give us a call because we do have some other options uh, and ways for you to visit the park. It's not the big sky circle tour. Again, it's different things. You can do some self-drive. We do still have some lodging and things available for you. Uh, and this presentation is recorded too. So actually in a little bit, we can send you all the recording out in case you miss part of it or you want to share it with I know Frank you want to share it with your wife there but if anyone wants to share it with anyone else you can certainly do that we also always have our webinar presentations on our website under our blog section you can find the recordings there so it looks like lots of great questions coming in so we have, let's see, just trying to get through all these, uh, Victoria saying, are the tours available in the reverse direction? So yes, they certainly are. We can do any of these packages in reverse. So if you were looking at Yellowstone to Yosemite, but you want to start with Yosemite and then make your way east to Yellowstone, we can certainly do that for you. We have one from Judy. How much is the single supplement? So that's a great question. It's not a set costs that we charge you because we don't want to be charging you uh, more you know as a solo traveler or anything like that so give us a call we can put it together for you maybe a little bit higher than the pricing that I showed as the one I showed is based on double occupancy so two people sharing the hotel rooms and splitting those costs there so give us a call and we can give you the accurate pricing for it we have one from Stephen uh, I took the Grand Canyon tour with a sleeper and had a wonderful time I recommend it so thanks so much for sharing that, Stephen. And yes, definitely sleepers, I agree, a way to go on the overnight trains there. We have a question from Craig. What do you do for meals if you are in coach? Are masks allowed off when you are dining? So yes, if you're traveling in coach accommodations, they do have the cafe car open. So you can purchase, you know, grab and go meals, snacks, drinks, anything like that from there. And you can bring that back to your seat. If you are eating, you can take your mask off uh, to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, anything like that. But if you're not, they do ask that you wear that for the safety of everyone on board the train uh, and for the staff too. You also have the ability to bring your own food and snacks on the train too if you're traveling in coach accommodations. We have one from Jane. So are there discounts for attending Amtrak webinars? So yes, there is. So the one I mentioned, the $100 off if you upgrade to a sleeping accommodation, that's exclusive for all of you joining us on our webinar presentation. So you won't find that on our website or anything. So make sure to write down that promo code. It's upgrade 100 and when you call us to book make sure to give that code and they'll give you a hundred dollars off the booking we have a question from mark can you go to canada now so we can't right now uh, the borders are still closed they had extended the border closure into the fall a bit so stay tuned for when those borders will open up again we're hoping as things start to get a little bit better uh, sooner we can get those open and have people traveling into Canada. So we do have the webinar presentation that we'll be talking about some of our Canada packages that we have and that's going to be more for summer 2021 looking at planning ahead for next year once the borders do open again there. Let's 
So we have let's say a question from Beth. Does the train to Glacier stop in Minneapolis? It does. So as it departs Chicago, it makes multiple stops along the way. Uh, Minneapolis is one of the stops that it has. So if you're living in that area, you can actually start right from there and take that to Glacier. Or if you're leaving from Chicago, but you would like to stop there, you certainly have the option to do that too. We have Joseph, uh, who's asking about Glacier from Washington, D.C., so we can certainly do that. We can do it as a round-trip getaway from D.C. We're actually going to route you from D.C. to Chicago and then on the Empire Builder out to Glacier. So up to you if you want to spend some more time in Chicago or visit any other places along the way. So it looks like there's a lot of great questions that are coming in right now. Uh, so it looks like I have time for probably one more and I do apologize if I don't get a chance to get to your question. Our office is open, so please give us a call. Our team is standing by and they can help you out and answer anything that you have. So last one is, are there motor coaches available to get to the Tetons and Yellowstone if one didn't want to drive? So if you're not looking to drive, we have a couple different packages. So the Grand Tetons Yellowstone, that one is with a car rental. The Yellowstone Discovery Package that I mentioned, that one can take you from Salt Lake City right up to Yellowstone. And we do have an option where we can transfer you from Salt Lake City to Jackson Hole. You can spend a few nights there and that's gonna be your gateway for exploring Grand Tetons National Park and then heading up to Yellowstone National Park. So we'll take you on sightseeing tours to both of those parks there. So yeah, if you do wanna drive, don't want to drive, definitely lots of different options that we have for you. So give us a call, Barbara, and we can give you more details on the different packages. So with that, I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time, joining me today. Hope you all learned a lot about Glacier, Yellowstone, and Yosemite, and what it's like to travel by train to get there. So take care and have a wonderful day.